Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Ace, and I'm back with another reaction video. Here we go. All right, so my journey down into the rabbit hole of Queen material continues. Today, I am going to be reacting to Now I'm Here. Now, according to Wikipedia, this song was released as Sheer Heart Attack's second single in 1975. So, yeah, let's get into it and see what this is going to be about. Here I stand, here I stand, look around, 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 around. It's coming out of left and right. <laughs> oh, now I'm here. Kind of creepy. I'm just just a new man. If you made me live again, but maybe I want. All right, let's pause for a minute. All right, so the intro with the frenetic guitar strums really kind of lets you know that you're in for a wild ride just before that hard rock beat drops. I also like the soft reverberating vocals coming out of both left and right. So yeah, this is interesting. Let's keep going.
right, now I'm here. Let me get into what I think the song is about. So the song seems to be about Queen declaring their arrival in the States. Uh, after having grinded in their own territory, it seems like they were ready to cross the pond and plant their flag the same way the Beatles had a decade earlier. Now I'm Here is very brisk and catchy with pretty incredible stereophonic effects. It has a great ticking riff which gives the song a lot of attitude and verve. I enjoy Brian's guitar squeals on the hook in the piano arpeggios and John's bass provides some added bulk. Roger's drums further pump the whole thing full of momentum. I noticed for a brief moment that the time signature changed to one that vaguely resembled a hip hop beat. Uh, the submerged piano glissando in the middle of everything adds additional flavor to the song as well. Even though the song doesn't really have much of a chorus, I think the way the title sporadically appears throughout the song as the beat drops still makes the song feel very hooky. Vocally, Freddie accentuates the strength that the song calls for. He employs a conventional, gritty, youthful rocker tone in his timbre. I like how he comes back down to a gentler tone when delivering the title during the breakdown and then ascends back up the scale. Again, I like the reverb on the vocals during that breakdown. And while the harmonies were nice, I do think that they tended to be a little too drowned out by the guitars. So I would give the song a letter grade of a B. The the song has a slight stones aesthetic to it, it's loud, hard, and bubbly at the same time with the sound that's very straightforward. It has a great build up before the good old fashioned rock beat kicks in, and even though it's very hard, the melodic structure of it is still kind of catchy and commercial. Uh, meanwhile, the left and right vocals and the delay effects do a good job of creating like this um like a matching silhouette effect. You know, it's a very simple smoke and mirrors trick that I think is very effective here. I will say that I found the conclusion to be rather abrupt and slightly underwhelming, but overall I enjoy the song. It's very fun to listen to. And now on to the video. solo was hot.
Yes. <laughs> All right, now I'm here with the music video. So the extended intro was hot. I like how the stage remained dark until the complete song emerged. That added to the buildup that the strumming intro created. The alarming whistling noises at the start and at the end, I think, gave the song a bit more urgency. The song is also, I noticed, played at a slightly down tempo compared to the studio version. Freddie's big flamboyant outfit made him look like a cross between like Jesus and a large eagle. Uh, Brian's uh, guitar solo, I think here was a little bit more exhilarating and more satisfying overall. While the guitar solo on the studio version tends to overwhelm things, here it's heftier and I think it's a bit tidier overall. Also, I love Roger's drum solo closing out the performance. That was definitely fire. So I would give the video a letter grade of an A. Even though this was a live performance that was probably adopted as the song's official music video later on, I'm still glad to see that the song has a music video. It's been a while since I reacted to a Queen song that wasn't just a lyric video. I will say though that the shadowy black and dark red lighting doesn't really go with my perception of the song. Now I'm Here comes off to me as sort of bright and vivid, so the hell ten of the visuals really wasn't what I was expecting. That said, the live version makes the song feel bigger, more powerful, and more straight ahead rock. The instrumentation is bolder and less pop adjacent. Freddie was a natural performer. He owns the stage with his audacious confidence, dark charisma, and flashy costume. His courteously backing out of the spotlight during Brian's guitar solo so that the focus will go to him, I think was cool. Though he's still kind of flailing around in the background, still feeling it. And again, Roger's drum solo was fire. The studio version really should have concluded the same way. So the overall grade for everything would be a B plus. I definitely think that the song is iPod and playlist worthy, but how do you feel about it? How do you feel about Queen's Now I'm Here? Leave me some comments, like, and subscribe, and until next time, peace.